What's going on guys? It's your boy Sir Faldine here, back with another video. Today's video, we'll be taking a deeper look at the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle in the black, white, sail colorway. Before that, you guys know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new since we are on the road to 1K, and hit that bell so you don't miss one of my uploads. Also, I did drop a review on the brand new Air Jordan 11s. So if you guys do want to check that out, links will be in the description. Thank you so much for the support. Let's get into reviewing the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle. Here is the box label. You get Nike Vapor Waffle Sakai, black, summit white, and the retail price is $180. You get primarily this orange box with some Nike hits at the side. So what we got here is the Nike Sakai collaboration on the Vapor Waffle. And these are pretty funky. So let's get right into reviewing these. Starting from the bottom of the sneaker, you do get this mostly primarily track pattern black with your Nike logo in the middle. And moving on up from the sneaker, you get this primarily sale. Get an up close look at that. With stacked on layers of different models of the Nike line, like the, I think this is called the Pegasus. Um, and it is featured in white. And it's like technically triple stacked soles. Um, never seen it before done, but it is definitely weird and cool. And I guess that weird makes the resale go up because we'll talk about reselling in, in a bit. And it's pretty high for the sneaker. And I think it should be high because it is unique. So as you can see on the sneaker, you do get this leather Nike logo in white. And then you get this spray painted one or painted on one in that white fading into that black. Um, personally, the leather on the Nike swoosh is actually very soft and um, definitely 10 out of 10 on materials for the sneaker. Also on the Nike Sakai, you do get two sets of laces already attached to the sneaker as if you would wear them. You get this most li mostly light gray and then you get this black on top. And when you move up to the tongue of the sneaker, check this out guys, you get two tags. You get one saying Nike Sakai, which is their brand and the branding. And then you get Nike sportswear on the second one. And to me, that is super cool. An extra pair of spare gray laces. But I definitely recommend throwing sale on these. Here is the insole. You get this gray insole with the Nike Sakai branding. And also you get a size label attached as well. At the back of the sneaker, you get leather and it does spell out Nike Sakai with your check. So do get this big gap at the end of the sneaker. Um, what? So what you do got in the inside of the sneaker is your white leather swoosh, black leather hits at the back, and you do also get that mesh paneled onto the Nike side. That's the full review on the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffles. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys do like this sneaker or you guys do pass on it because I know a lot of people do not like the sneaker because of how chunky and bulky it is. But to me, it gives it some character and I really do like how it did turn out for the Sakai collaboration. My resale prediction on these Nike Sakai Vapor Waffles and specifically the black colorway, I see it going at lowest to around 430, 420 and then only going up. Maybe by the next summer, I do see these being a 600 to even a $700 shoe since it is an OG colorway and it is super clean for the summer. For one out of 10, I definitely give this a solid eight and a half. Um, comfortability is great and looks are good, but overall, is it a sneaker that I'm gonna wear every day? Probably not. If you guys enjoyed this content today, make sure you guys leave it a big like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And comment down below whether you guys think this is a unique sneaker, um, did you guys pick it up? Just let me know something down in the comments below. I'd like to chat it up with you guys. And now I'll see you on the on feet. Peace.